hey there and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about um, the perfect alternative for me for the ESP32, which is um, the most um, f important or favorite um, Wi-Fi mod wi module. And the problem is that they exist uh, um, in these rather large boards or it's really, really hard to solder them. Like you can see here that it was, yeah, kind of an attempt, but it didn't quite work out. So um, what then um, got into my mind was a so-called tiny Duino from tiny circuits. And it's really, really cool. So you have this base part, which is exactly this thing, maybe with a little less power, but it is, that's my thumb. It's really, really small and it's modular. You have these uh, 30 pin connectors and you can add anything you which you can buy on their websites. For example, a Wi-Fi shield, then there's um, the USB shield. You need to uh, upload a sketch or for example, an LED, LED shield. And the top part is always this um, connector shield, which is normally without these pins. I just uh, soldered them onto to, for testing reasons. So I can plug in LEDs, etc. And yeah, here you can see which pin is what and yeah. And then you can take these things and just plug them like a t stack them up like a tower and then you're good to go. So I have just one problem with this um, thing I wanted to talk about. I'm using these for um, switching my light in my room on and off, but sometimes I can't get a connection and this is due to a um, software error I think we're going to fix together. So let's get into it. So basically what you need to do, take a micro USB cable, but pay attention that this is a date, uh, that this is a data cable and not only for charging because then you won't get any connection. And then you can, yeah, I think you know how you connect this thing. Yeah. And then you get these indicated lights. There's a green light and there is a orange and green blinking, blink, blinking light. The setup process is also a little bit easier than on the ESP32. You do not need to press any program button or need a certain extension board that does it for you. Um, there are just um, some few things you need to pay attention. So first of all, um, you need this Arduino app and um, then you can download, sorry, then you need to set up your device. So you go to tools and then to, uh, to the board and there it says you need to um, switch to the Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. But then it says down there it's five volt and 60 megahertz and this needs to be changed to 3.3 volt and eight megahertz um, under processor processor to this one. Then you need to select your port. And take the one which is suggested to you. That's normally the right one. And then you can install the library called Wi-Fi 101. Uh, go to manage libraries and then you can search for this library. And this is from Arduino. So the second one. Hit install. Then you see it's installed and then you can go to examples and see the examples for Wi-Fi 101. 
Then you can search, uh, then you can take any example you want um, for what your need is. For my example, I for my sketch, I use the, when you go to examples and again, Wi-Fi 101 to the Wi-Fi web server. So, but sometimes I have the problem that it does not connect either with the PC or the smartphone. And I think it's because it lost connection and um, the program just tells it to try to connect when it is um, during setup. So only when I um, insert the power. Uh, so um, this section right here, um, where it says attempt to connect to weave connection is where it try <laughs> where it connects to the Wi-Fi. And we need to change this bit because um, we need to update it all the time. So to y, y dot statues, we can add in this loop um, a, a check whether the internet is there and then con reconnect again. So what we are doing to the end of the, of the loop. Launching the setup, how is it called? Setup. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show to you, um, what I would improve um, in the examples. And just to round things up, um, I wanted to show you that this um, tiny circuits or tiny Duino um, is really, really good documented. So um, you can um, deal with it. And there are a lot of um, different uh, shields. For example, in this case, it's um, for the Wi-Fi shield that I, there's documents and examples. And um, you can ask them when you have troubles. And you see that it is modular, that you can stack everything up. And um, it's really detailed. And yeah, that's all for me. I hope it was interesting for you and maybe you think you want to start um, testing this <laughs> would be cool. And stay curious. Bye.